name held him over this font. This place also reminds us of his Lutheran faith and also the tradition of Lutheran church music because music became a very essential element of Christian worship service in the Lutheran tradition. Eisenach was at the heart of Reformation Europe. In 1521, Martin Luther had fled from Catholic authorities and hidden in the town's Wartburg Castle, where he translated the Bible into German and wrote some of his greatest hymns. Luther was not only the founder and guiding spirit of the Reformation, but a man whose poetry and musical composition had a profound influence on Bach throughout his life. Bach made notes in the margins of his own copy of the Lutheran Bible, observing here that where there is devotional music, God, with his grace, is always present. For Bach, for Luther, for the Protestants in general, the route to the divine was now limited to scripture. There were no more sacraments. Uh, there was no really great elaborate liturgy. All these former things which had given men and women a gateway to the divine before the Reformation. Now the one link that human beings could have with their God uh, was through God's word in revealed scripture. And I think that this preoccupation with the word of God, with scripture alone, which is one of the hallmarks of the Protestant Reformation, uh, I think we see that at the essence of Bach's great religious quest in his music, to try to give a profound and transcendent dimension to God's word. Bach's secure family upbringing came to a sudden end in 1694 with the death of his mother and in 1695 with the death of his father. Almost at once, Bach was on his own. He lost his parents at the age of 10. And I think that trauma, that shattering experience, formed his outlook on the world for the rest of his life. He felt abandoned. He felt the world would be a deceitful, untrustworthy place. This worked very well with his religious understanding as a Lutheran, where the same attitude towards the world is preached. In many ways, what he then was going to do with his music was to, in a sense, create his own world, his, his own better world, the perfect world. In a sense, he himself is going to become a creator. After the death of his parents, Bach was taken in by his elder brother, Johann Christoph, an organist who gave him his first formal keyboard lessons. His fine singing voice secured him a scholarship at a school for poor boys at Lüneburg, and by the age of 18, he had acquired his first official employment as organist at the Neukirche in Arnstadt.
Bach had secured the post at Arnstadt by testing the new organ. The church authorities had been so impressed with his playing that they had given him the job on the spot. But they soon found that their brilliant young organist had a musical ambition that was hard to control and were particularly upset by the surprising variations he added to Lutheran hymn tunes. When Bach was at Arnstadt, he was a young man, a genius, absolutely bubbling with musical ideas, new harmonies, and with, of course, a tremendous technique. Uh, so, playing hymns must have been a very boring thing to do. And yet, <clears throat> the congregation wanted straightforward leadership, rather like this. had different ideas and in between one line and another he would get from one chord to another rather like this which could be a bit off-putting for a, a congregation which was there to let off steam on a Sunday morning singing their hymns the overall effect was something like this perhaps At Arnstadt, Bach was determined to develop his skills as a keyboard virtuoso. At the age of 20, he took a month's leave of absence and walked 200 miles to study and perform with the Danish organist Dietrich Buxtehude in Lübeck. Buxtehude's technique, showmanship and dramatic sense of composition had a considerable influence on the young Bach. The style, let's say the generation just before Bach, of all the keyboard players came into existence. One of the major things was excitement surprise uh, people who were watching at the feet of the organist saying my god how can somebody play so fast i mean the